Hello everyone, it's Winona the Left-Handed Beater and welcome back. Welcome if you're new. Guess what came? Bargain Bee Box. And it's early for me this year. It's actually been here for two or three days, but I just haven't been feeling well. So I, I thought I shouldn't be doing a video when I don't feel well. It's not fair. Plus, oh boy, do I have a mess. I am such a messy crafter. I got to clean up my room after my Valentine's Day. Um, what would you call that where I'm trying to make a whole bunch of stuff for Valentine's Day? It's kind of like a shopping spree, but it's a work spree. I love this color. <gasps> Ooh, I see stuff in there I like. Okay, so it says... It says Violet Glade. And you know what I'm going to put on here right away? That this is February. Maybe. Otherwise, I forget what month these work. I'm so far behind. So it says, Inspired by the iridescence of gossamer wings, and the deep purple of early spring violets, crocuses in this area. This month's package features a medley of amethyst, fluorite, crackle agate, and Malaysia jade. It's got poster, uh, quotation marks around it, quartz. Focal points include amethyst teardrop pendant. I can't. Keep, I keep looking over here at them. I, I just, I, I really do like this. I think what I see so far. A pair of faceted amethyst drops and a stainless steel dragonfly with stardust wings. I think I might have caught sight of him a little bit. Sparkling crystals and a collection of high quality findings complete the set. So awesome. And then it says, I think almost all of the metals. Oh, no. Okay, we'll have to do that as we go. It says the approximate retail value for this shipment was $86. Ooh, I know what I need to get on this desk is a document holder. Yeah, I had number one. Number one is a seven and a half inch strand of three millimeter finely faceted rainbow fluorite round beads. These are pretty, I love fluorite. That's one of my favorite stones. Isn't that pretty? And they're not too terribly small. Sometimes you get such small ones you can't even tell if they're real or not. Number two, amethyst rounds. That's crackle. Is that it here? Number two, a seven inch strand of 10 millimeter amethyst round beads. That's quite a, oh, these are nice. I love bigger beads, as you all know. So there's that. They're dark, they're nice and dark, but they're transparent. That's number two. Number three is 12 inch strand of 2.5 by 1.5 crystal rondelle beads in rainbow iris. So those would be little tiny. Oh, I bet you that. Oh my goodness, these are pretty. They're tiny, but they pack a punch. Look at them. They're so sparkly. Those are pretty. Ooh, I'm liking this. Number four is a 24 piece strand of 8.5 by 4 millimeter crystal drop beads, jet rainbow iris. Number four, that's these here. Let's see. Ooh, these are kind of cool. I think. In a small dose, they look nice. All together, they look cheap. But I think, you know, just to have one here and one there, I think they'll look beautiful. They look beautiful on camera. But I think when you just see so many of them together, I shouldn't be so critical, but I want to be truthful too. A 15 inch strand of six by four millimeter crystal rondelle beads, and it's in a violet mixture. And this is pretty. This is really pretty. You know, when they first, well, Dee Dee does this 
too. When they first started mixing up their rondelles, I wasn't too happy at first, but boy, you know what? You don't need a full stand, strand of the same color rondelles usually. It's kind of nice to have the variety. Okay, and then on number six is two pieces of 13.5 by 20 millimeter stainless steel laser cut dragonfly charms, and they're made of a hyperallergenic stainless steel. Awesome. Now I just got to find them. Is that them? No, that's number 10. Okay, number six. These are plain but pretty. I might have some dragonflies or some um, butterflies that I could add to this now that I'm thinking. Number seven is a 23 by 31 millimeter stainless steel and rhinestone dragonfly pendant. And it is also made of the hyperallergenic stainless steel. So that's one, that's 14, 12. Number seven. Ooh, this is kind of pretty. If I can get it out. Look at this. Oh, that's really pretty. That's that's really elegant looking. Wow, I like that. And it hangs like from the side. I like that. Hmm. Jeez, that's, I think that's my favorite thing ever in Bark and Beatbox. That is so pretty. I'm gonna to need to order some more. Six, seven, eight is 16 by 12 millimeter platinum plated brass dragonfly toggle clasp. And this is lead free and cadmium free. I want eight. I don't know why I keep track of what number I'm on. I used to like it when they did all the medals at the end. This is pretty. And I'm getting into more of the delicate clasps. That's pretty. Ooh, I want to dig into this right away, but I should take a... <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it. If I took a film of my room right now, you would think I'm most... Uh, I'm a hoarder. <laughs> I have stuff everywhere right now. Um, number nine is 48 pieces of 40 millimeter, 21 gauge stainless steel eye pins. And these are also hy um, hyperallergenic stainless steel. So that's good. Because, you know, we're all starting to talk more about that now. About how we need to get better quality components in our metals. Number 10 is six pieces of 17 by 17.5 millimeter round with dragonfly charms. Lead free, nickel free, cadmium free. And I'm... Oh. I have some more unboxing to do right beside me and it's kind of getting confused so these are kind of cute you know you don't have to just use them as a charm because you've got a connector there and you'd have a connector here so you could use them as a connector on your her necklace you it would be pretty um no it's too bad they all face the same way because you could use them on a necklace too as well, i guess you could a multi-strand necklace to bring it to a single strand. Those are pretty. They're very delicate. Um, number 11 is a 14 inch strand of 6 by 4 millimeter crystal faceted rice beads with teal AB. Ooh, that sounds pretty. A little touch of teal. As soon as you bring that teal, you see these beads really come through and the fluorite. These are pretty. I like rice beads. Those are pretty. I need to get working. Um, two pieces of, this is number 12, two pieces of 21 by 13 and a half millimeter faceted amethyst and brass teardrop pendants. Number 12, that's this here. I think I'd make earrings out of these. I like my pendants to be a bit bigger, but they certainly would make a nice pair of earrings. Look at the, it's like, um, I can't think what they call it when the amethyst is chevron amethyst almost. This is pretty, really pretty. Be nice for a little girl too. I 
could make matching necklaces for my granddaughters. That would be cute. Um, number 13 is 10 pieces of 10 by 15 millimeter dragonfly spacer beads. And these are lead free, nickel free, cadmium free. Oh, these are cute. Oh, these are cute. Oh, these are so cute. Look at them. Aren't they cute? Well, I'm going to have to get cleaning so I can get playing again. I just need to, I, I still don't feel that great though. I still, um, yesterday I slept most of my day away. Um, number 14 is 42 by 21 millimeter amethyst and brass teardrop with swirl pennant. I think this is what I've been eyeing up ever since I opened the bag. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. It's a, it doesn't say it. No, it's not hyperallergenic stainless steel. That is gorgeous. Wow, I love that. Nice back too. My worry about the back though, might have to coat the back with some clear nail polish because my skin wears off the finish of metal so badly and so quickly. Number 15, it's a 13 inch strand of eight millimeter frosted crackle agate round beads and these are heat dyed and treated. But you know what? I really like these crackle agate. I think they're really cool. To me, they look like dragon eggs. They're so cool. I really do. I like I like crackle agate. I buy a lot of it actually. Okay, and then a 10 gram bag of 6.5 millimeter five petal bead caps, lead free, nickel free, cadmium free. Oh, there's a lot in here. I like that because you know sometimes you only get 20 or 30, and if you're doing them on both sides of a bead, 20 means 10 beads, right? 30 is 15. That's nice. It's a nice generous amount. Okay, and then I think we only have two more. A 14 inch strand of eight millimeter faceted round Malaysia, and it's basically dyed quartz beads. It's not really jade. Oh, one was loose. But who cares? Like if you're looking for metaphysical quality, um, quartz magnifies any qualities like we've got agate which is soothing we've got um, amethyst amethyst is really good um, for negative things I find fluorite to be very cleansing you know and, and quartz amplifies those so that's very pretty and our last thing is a meter of four by three millimeter stainless steel curb chain. And this is, oh, this is hyperallergenic stainless steel too. So when I put my stuff away, I'm gonna make a note of that on each of the bags because um, that's a good thing to know. Anyway, that's it. And this is one of my favorite boxes from them, I think. I know we did amethyst last February too, but we did it with blue. This time we're doing it with green, and I love green, and it's just a little bit different take on it. Not sure what I'll do yet. Haven't even really thought of it. This is so elegant. I might just want to hang that on a chain. That's so pretty. My favorite is definitely that and this. I love all the gemstones this time. I actually, I really like this box in general. I like that we have some quality components, some stainless steel. Um, yeah, very nice. Very nice. Anyway, I wish you lots of love and happiness until we meet again. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.